morning hours so really appreciated so as part of this course we already discussed about the the content once again in the starting of the first class i will give the once again the brief what we are going to achieve and uh, what is our source system and everything here so here as part of the our our course so first of all what we are going to do here first of all so we are going to build the one new system we are going to build the one new one new netweaver system netweaver system on sql server db this is the our first phase which we are going to do here right so once this is completed once this is completed then we'll go for the so we'll take the we'll take the backup of my ecc production so my ecc production suppose let me show you the environment here you can see the environment so here this production data we are going to take the backup of this one so here we have the some data some uh, some data and everything is running on here some data everything is running on here so we are going to restore this this backup and we are going to restore it on the so restore it on the our new system here we are going to restore we are take the backup of the production system and so restore it on restore it on restore it on so newly installed server newly installed server so this one is very simple we know sap installation take the backup and restore also we will perform it here right so once we done it here so why because in the sometimes in the real time also in the real time scenarios also what we will do directly before we go for production what we will, we will take the production backup and we will we will restore it on the existing system or we will build a one new system and we will do the some poc right so similar approach similar approach we are going to perform here so backup and restore it on the newly installed server so once we done it once we done it then we will do the post refresh activities all the post refresh activities we will perform it here so once that is done then here so we will start the migration activities here so normally s forna conversion means directly our uh, ec so directly our sap and database and os in single shot using the system move option we can migrate to the our target target means s forna on hana database and a linux system we can move it right so but here in the case we are splitting the activities here so like the first first so we are moving moving we are migrating we, we are migrating db2 so db we are migrating the db2 so hana database so then after that we'll validate the system here validate the system here then after that so after that so we will we will perform the so prepare page prepare prepare steps that are called the prepare phases which means for s4 hana conversion so here we may have to perform the lot of activities here a lots custom code migration simplification item catalog so simplification item catalog so and so ready next check reports so three steps like so these all steps we will perform it in the for s4 ana conversions here right then here so as part of this activity only there the bulk bulk notes and some business, some business functions activations and some uh, some tca rollback so many things we have to do it here so those as that will be covered in the year in the step number 7 here right so then after that we'll start the we'll start the 
sum tool. We will start the sum tool for conversion. We will start the sum tool for the conversion. So that we will run it sum tool for the conversion up to some steps, up to some steps, up to maybe up to pre-processing. That we can say pre-processing we have to run in source. While it is running, then we may have to build the, the target target S4 ANA system. We may have to build the target S4 ANA system. Maybe 2023 system, we may have to build it. Right? We have to build the parallelly. So then, so we can convert the data. We can, so we can run the, we can move the some folder from source to the target. Then run the run the so remaining steps, remaining steps, remaining steps, some steps in so target system in target system. We can run it here. So then after that, so then follow up activities. We have the some follow up activities. So we can we can do it in the follow it, follow up follow up activities we can perform it here so these are the the high level steps maybe some few more points will be added so so those with the high level steps which we are going to start it one by one which we are going to start one by one steps here one by one we are going to start the these steps here so right so this is the entire our agenda so what we are going to do what how we are starting here new system build and uh, backup and restore activity right so it kind of like db refresh db refresh activity then so r we, here we can combine these two steps also here take the backup use the system copy option build the new system so with these two steps we can combine it here so that new system will be installed with the copy of the existing system so that is also one that is also one plan here right so that how we want to go we can proceed it here so then we can plan the here we are splitting the activities here db first we are migrating to the hana db then up to some part db sap will run on the your sap ecc on hana database here means of what it's migrated to the so hana database here of what it's migrated to the hana database here so then we will perform the remaining activities and everything slowly, 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 we will come to the, the closer here, right? So this is the, the agenda which we are for, going to perform here, right? So here, any questions, anyone in the plan, anyone wants to make some changes here, feel free to, we can, we can adjust the plan here. So the HANA conversion can also be done through the DMO phase, right? Or through some. So we're not going to do that. We're going to do two steps. Yeah, we are going to do the two steps here. Uh, previously, a uh, few members uh, requested me instead of at a time. So at a time, that's not a problem. I can do it at a time also. I can migrate from. So using the upgrade activity. So we can we can edit single step in one gunshot. So we can move to the everything. We can move it here. But so, but what we are doing to get the experience on the DB also, so we are splitting the activities here. That's it. We are splitting the activities for so first DB, DB migration, then after that, so SAP, so migration to S4 and all. So, like that, so we are doing the two step approach we are following here. Can you also like go quickly and show us during that step about how to do with DMO as well? If we want to do one step approach, one step approach, yeah, that is, yeah, that is also, yeah, possible actually. In the sum tool itself, we have the options. So we can use that options so we can follow it here. Yeah, that's possible. You can show us that, right? Yeah, yeah that I will show, but we cannot perform that one. Okay, show. but at least you can show us. I will show the options and everything. Yeah, we will get the options. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, and, uh, uh, well, one more question. If the system is non-unicode, uh, unicode conversion is a separate step, right? 
Yeah, so many words. Yeah, Unicode conversion is the separate step here. That time also we have to go for the so separate uh, uh, like two step approach only then two step approach first Unicode then so we have to uh, convert it. That is the one. Okay. Yeah, as part of the system requirement selection, I will explain it. What are the our source system requirements, and also what is the exact like uh, uh, what what pre steps we have to do it here. So as part of the conversion conversion, we have the system requirement step here. System requirements here. So <coughs> system requirement means what? So first of all. Here, let's have, let's start about the some introduction about the S4 HANA. I think uh, everybody uh, maybe they are aware of S4 HANA. What is mean by S4 HANA is the S4 HANA is the next generation business suite system for here. It is the intelligent ERP. Intelligent. So it's the intelligent system and integrated with the ERP system that runs on the so in memory database here so this is a it's a revolutionary business process integrated automation system here in the s4 ana so technically the we can prove in the many uh, best practices for the professional services we can enable the best mode business models best practices we can enable it in the our single s4 ana system here it's a uh, embedded with the analytics also here embedded with the analytics the interfaces, digital assessments. So many things we can do it in the, so in the S4 HANA, I think everybody knows what is meant by S4 HANA. Right? It's a next generation, fourth generation business suit. So it's the next version of the ECC landscape here. So technically, as a technically, technical migration we are doing here, technical conversion we are doing, it's not like the data migration, so the conversion, everything. So technical conversion we are going to do here, but technically, so what in a, in a target system side, in S4 and a side, compared to the CCC, what are going to change here? What changes are going to happen here? Entire this SAP ERP is going to the S4 and a 2023. And also here, so ESP8 is going to the so your S4 on application server like that, it is going to change this component here. So, and also if you see here, this is the as above, as uh, as above. So SAP above platform, then 7.5455 like that, the versions are going to change here, this component versions, right? So Fiori, Fiori, Fiori server for yeah, S4 on a 2022 or 2023, like that, this is also going to change. So the additionally, additionally, this ABAP component version. So what is the additionally, what's happening here? This SAP underscore ABA version, it's, it's going to change it to the SAP underscore. So ABA and it's like 750, like, like that 751, 752, there is a release, right? So when it's moving to the S4 ana, this this version is going to see 75D, 75E, 75F, like that it is going to change it here, the technically here. So technically in the it is going to change it here. Suppose in ECC, suppose like ECC, we have the version is called the SAP underscore ABA. Suppose like 750. So 752 or 750, something like that we have, 751, 750, somewhere like here. So when it going to the S4 when it's converted to the S4 ana, the component version is changing to the 75D, depends upon the S4 ana version, 75E, 75F, like that, it is going to change it here. So not only this one, your ECC, we have the SAP underscore APPL, right? When it's going to the S4 HANA, that is going to change it to the S4 core, S4 core. So this is the service, this is the component here, SAP underscore APPL here, this is the one, right? So this is the one, so this is the one, it's not available in the, when it's moving to the your S4 HANA system, 
this version this component version renaming to the so it's going to the s4 core s4 core s4 core here s4 core so it is going to the s4 core here so technically so these are the so these are the changes the components wise if i talk about the the components wise so these are the changes are going to happen also uh, also so functionality wise if i talk about the functionalities wise so the material length ledger length 1gl so there is a lot of changes the functional device so 1gl one one general ledger here so so one mad bell mad bell related so one table then ac doka one table so the accounts so there are the lot of changes are happened here so previously the material related in the ecc we have the something like 16 to 17 tables are associated but when it's moving to the s4 and a there is a only one table here. The AC doc also is only one table, general ledger tables here, one table here. So they are associated in ECC and there are multiple tables. So when they are mixed into the, in one table, that's called the 1GL projects, something like that one material table, mad bells. So there is a AC doc, these are ledger tables. So like that, there are a few changes are happened in the, the functional device, the structure co number coding, so length also, changed when it come to the ECC to S4 and a, the, the format, the fields, the fields, length. So those things also changed 14 characters to 12 to 4, something like that. They have changed when it's moved to the S4 and a, yeah, right? So that functionality, that functionality, the development side, that much of information we don't require. But thing is, what we required is what changes are happened in the in the technically as a technical consultant what changes are happened so we have the many number of changes not only the only components changes and functionality changes there are a lot of changes are happened in the the s4 ana s4 ana systems here so we have the hr component still be stay and uh, uh, still in the same here in the s4 ana so what are the paths what are the paths for the what are the paths for the deployment here to go to the S4 and what are the available approaches here? What are the available approaches here? So here we can go for the paths. I mean to say path. What are the path? Path to deployment the S4 HANA here. So here new implementations. We can go for the new directly new S4 HANA implementation that is called the green field. That is called the green field here. Right, so we can go for the new S4 and system with initial data load. We can go for that one here, new implementations here. So apart from that, apart from that, we can also go for the conversion system conversion here. System conversion here. This is what we are going to test it here. System conversion here. ERP system we are converting to the S4 and here. Complete conversion of existing our business system to the your. So S4 yes, 2022, we are going to the here, right? The next one which we are going to test is the selective data migration here. Selective data migration here. Selective data migration here. So there is a, in the market, there are the multiple, multiple things are there here. In the market, we have the, so multiple options are there. Selective data migration. Selective data migration means, we don't need to migrate all the data here, only the selective options here, only selective things. So we are going to do here, only selective things we are going to migrate here. That is called the selective data migration here, selective data migration here. Suppose like example, we have the one region, one ECC system. So another region, we have the one more ECC system. So one more region, we have the one more ECC systems here. So all these IT landscapes, we can merge into the merge of the multiple sources into the one or existing one is for a system we can merge it here suppose some, some sometimes what will happen the customers will have the multiple ecc systems so one is the ecc here second one is the here the third one is the here right so third one is the here so in this case this is the one region this is the one region this is the one region here then this is the s4 system here so there is a selective data migration option here. 
so they have to plan the multiple go lives and multiple activities they will merge into the all these things into the so one all these things into the one s forna systems here one s forna systems they can merge into the one so new or existing systems we can merge into here okay so here we will discuss about the this one here system conversion activities we are going to test it here right that is the one thing here which we would like to know here we have to follow the sap the best practices we will follow here best practices means best practices means here so uh, we have sap said there are some pages here to follow so here sap named it as like so that is called the prepare phase in the prepare phase and the realization phase here prepare phase and so realization phase here in the prepare phase prepare phase here we have to discuss about the system requirements so maintenance planner session here simplification item catalog custom code preparations so all those activities will come under the the prepare phase here all those activities will comes under the prepare phase here so as part of the prepare phase only so we will get, we will come to know we will come to know so source system require system requirement i mean to say system requirements here so in this system requirement what is the the first one which we have to discuss so the system should be only unicode system unicode it should be the unicode system only if it is a non unicode first we have to convert to the unicode then we have to go for this one and also dual stacks are not supported on sap hana database so it should not be a dual stack so dual stacks dual stacks are not supported dual stacks are not supported here suppose like you have abap and java so i like that you have dual stacks are not supported here then ecc version ecc ecc system ecc system should be the so 6.0 above right 6.0 above 6.0 or 6.0 or it should be above above versions here so ecc 6.0 i it should be ec 6.0 or it should be above versions above means ehp above ehp so it should be supported here so and also especially we need to discuss about the okay you are in the ecc 6.0 but what is the source sp level requirement that we will discuss source sp level requirement here what, what is the source sp level requirements here How, what is the sp level patches if you are in the 6.0 ehp 7 or ehp 8 or ehp 7 so whatever ehp 5 so what is your source sp level we should meet the minimum patch level here so we should meet the minimum patch level here then so normally database also lowest version we need to just to go to the database patches or something we have to update it here right so and also think it should be the single stack no unicode right so unicode versions all those things so we have to we have we have to discuss here all those things we should be carefully and also we have to any incompatible any any incompatible add-ons in your system so plan to uninstall it here plan to uninstall it here otherwise so during the target system itself it will be deleted here so better to you completely uninstall it here so this activity will may take the some quite a while uninstallation of the some incompatible add-ons incompatible add-ons means suppose if i take the so there is a uh, poa asbc there is one component grc related and also there is a cts plugin comp some this is the one of the component here then ls there is one comp just an example i'm telling this is maybe one more component like there's some third party so third party components we are if you third parties anything uh, so which will be we have to delete it here we have to 
so we have to do the we have to do the uninstallation temp for that one otherwise it will be deleted by the system here it will be deleted by the system here so and also we need to update the so in at least we have to update the st api and st api and kernel kernel also should be up to date while doing this one and so then some other uh, preparation activities like simplification item catalogs all those things we have to we have to process it here the major the major thing is the system level should be match source system should levels and so dual stacks are not supported here also sap recommended go with the so archiving and deletion of so data archiving deletion of the financial data if any unwanted data is there sap recommending to go with the archiving and deletion here archiving and deletion here this is what sap so re sap recommended the recommended option as part of the system requirement option here archiving and deletion of the system here so which means so suppose you have the any financial data any, any suppose like example we have the some basis objects some technical tables like cd hdr some so change docu cd hdr means that is come to change docu db tab block tables here so then cd fos table here right so then tst03 so spool related tables here so there is a some other some technical tables are there here so this technical tables means it change log recording so change log recording and table log recording some security set recording so these are not required why because if the data is there unnecessarily so what will happen the conversion will go very longer duration here so what sap is saying here we can go for the not only this one some other tables also so not only this one we can go for the some technical table archiving some technical tables archiving or deletion directly go for the deletion here so directly we can delete it here so that so it system will be free the conversion will will time zone timelines will be reduced the timelines will be reduced here so some some financial means the financial tables means definitely it's required the business approvals and also there is a lot of ground work we have to do it here retention period and also the retention period and everything we need to meet it objects archiving objects there are many archiving things we have to perform it it's a very big project yeah. right it's in case of archiving has to plan that is a very big project and everything technical tables means in within one week we can complete the all the archiving and the deletion activities we can perform it here so that is the one thing we can say it here right stpi and api related activities here so this is the system requirement phases we should meet each and everything here so before that before checking our system is unicode or not so source patch levels should start all those things here first we need to build our systems here we need to build our so system here we need to build our ecc system we have to build it then we have to go for the one by one one by one here right so they are the some differences i will explain about the some differences between the ecc and ecc and s4 ana so it's some differences what is the difference here why because when it is going to the s4 ana the code will behave very differently here right the code will behave differently here so why because in the in the s4 ana all the embedded and learn in the advanced analytics and the digital assistance voice recognitions many new features are available in the in the s4 hana here coming to the database side here in the ecc we have it's a disk based ecc it's a disk based storage here when it go to the s4 hana here it is the in memory in memory in memory wise data is getting stored here so real time data and oil ap oil tp transactions from one data model all those things are getting stored into the one data model here so when it's come to the data model concept data model so ecc is the 
this is the complex data model it means the redundant tables for the analysis meaning blocking and some maintenance issues like that we have here right so when it go to the s4 ana so they have in the in the we have in the hana database a data simple data model here so we can combine the analytics and olap and oldb it's reduced the reconsolidation reconsolidation is reduced here why because both analytics and so the transactions are here so nothing here so no major uh, reconsolidation is required here coming to the business process wise coming to the the business process wise here it's a traditional process here traditional process so constrained by the the legacy databases here business process here here intelligence process powered by the sap hana technology sap hana here user interface so here in the ecc we have the coming to the user interface if i talk about the here user interface ui so we have the sap gui me recently so slowly the uh, like we have uh, fiori also is coming to the picture but here so for s4 ana it's full fledged sap fiori concept here so modern customizable and also so multiple uh, user interfaces we can use it here so this one ecc we can deploy it on the on premise here we can completely choose of the so this is we can also deploy it in the cloud but s4 ana completely on prem so we can deploy it in the cloud hybrid s4 ana public clouds private clouds the many options are there here right many options are there here so here coming to the road map if i talk about the if i talk about the ecc ecc the support supported till supported till 2027 right so 2020 sub 2027 here and what about the s what about the s4 hana here <coughs> maybe date not fixed i guess it's a 2040 i guess s4 hana the supported somewhere i read like this is a 2040 here supported till 2040 so so 2027 it's a near is coming to the near here so it's a conversion system conversion is a typical is a fastest option i share to convert our any ec system 6.0 running on the any database to s4 hana enter your existing configuration customization historical data this approach conversion approach is the rapid technical conversion approach here means single shot we can convert everything to the so our everything we can to the the s4 hana systems new uh, technology we can convert it here so here they are the there are multiple teams will be involved here multiple teams we have to so involved in the conversion projects right so some vetable technical teams technologies tools for developers they will use the multiple teams here right so here we will use the some tools for the for our side we will use the some tool so to do the all the activities and everything here right so then above team they will use the eclipse some other tools functional team also will use the lsmw there are the multiple tools they will use it to perform the here the first what we have to do data first of all anything any conversion project to begin with the conversion project first so we need to discuss about the data cleaning here this is the why because transactional data historical data transactional data we need to should be clean it here are mass sometimes master data upon why because so it may take very longer time here if you don't clean up it may clean it will take very it will reduce the db size then so just we can uh, for the smoother conversion side a smooth conversion side so we have to do all kind of things and everything here right so that's that's the part of the so some general uh, discussion about the all those things here okay so some what is the difference ecc and support and all those things some necessarily but so but as part of the system requirement we should be ready with the our system here so so our main aim is here so today i will start provisioning all your accounts creating the one new brand new system so i will make it software ready then 
I will provision your accounts. Then we will start preparing the installing the one new system as per plan. Then we can restore it. Plan number two, step number two. Then slowly that way we can progress our activities and everything. Yeah. Okay. So that's it for today. Just for introduction. So 